In the fourth grade, I sang The Lion Sleeps Tonight in an elementary school showcase. Yeah, you did. I get off stage, walk to the bathroom to be greeted by all my male classmates calling me a little bitch when I was 12. I was leaving the skate park when three boys approached me, pushed me over, tried to pry the skateboard out of my hands while repeatedly calling me a little bitch when I told my friends about how the girl who turns my throat into a bendable ruler every time she asks me a question likes me back, but it's hard for me to conceive me being loved back properly because I've never been loved back properly, they say. You sound like a little bitch. But just then, a little bitch thought hits me. I don't give a fuck. I am a little bitch singer that has never been loved back properly, and I cannot fight. I throw, I throw a little, I come from a family of boxers, but I throw a little bitch punched at the air like the oxygen. Just call me a little bitch. I am a little bitch, a little bitch. Anyone else think it's hella whack how we attach gender role to food and drink? My favorite flavor of ice cream is little bitch sherbet. I watch The Notebook at least once a month and shed little bitch tears every time. I've got little bitch nerves up and down every part of my body, so don't hurt me unless you want to watch a little bitch bitch fit. The Urban Dictionary and all its wisdom defines little bitch as someone who's whiny, petty, passive aggressive, or won't stand up for himself when shit goes down and yeah, sounds about right. I'm a little bitch poet. They used to say to me, Travis, one day you meet a beautiful girl at a poetry slam. But see, I don't go to poetry events to meet women. I go to meet myself. And, and I, and I, and I am not manly. I have never shotgunned a beer, but boy, did my homies and I get wild with Mountain Dew. And I have never unhooked a bra, but I have unlocked every level on Crash Bandicoot. And I cannot drive stick. I struggle trying to whip my parents' little bitch minivan. <laughs> See, and I'm sorry, but I refuse to take you seriously if you ever tell anyone ever to grow a pair. Action films bore me. Sports Illustrated puts me to sleep, but I can quote Mean Girls and 13 going on 30 word for fucking word. See, it's time that we have pride in our little bitch. Since it's time that we started a little bitch army so when a kid is not picked for kickball and told get off the field, we'll be there. When a kid is made fun of for wanting to play house with the girls instead of football with the boys, we'll be there. When a kid has his books knocked out of his hands, we'll be there. We will stand behind the tomboys, the four eyes, the stammering sentences, attention deficits, questioners, poor, and even the One Directioners. Yes, nothing can stop us. We are in your yoga classes, at your riding circles, on your football teams, and pumping iron in your gym. We are the little bitch army. We are bad kissers, gray huggers, and above all, strong. You see, us little bitches understand that feminine, weak, and vulnerable are not synonymous with little bitchness. If you ever cried yourself to sleep, you'll probably get enlisted. At the little bitch army, our motto is stop teaching boys how to be terrible men and then telling them to man up. At the Little Bitch Army, we will fix you up. Just let your skin absorb the stitches until you realize that maybe the world needs just a few more little bitches. Yeah.